Good morning, Denny. It's Monday, January 12th, and I'm going to undertake the classic challenge of eating five pieces of toilet paper while discussing the political situation in Nepal. Go. Okay. First one. So, Nepal is the um, 93rd largest country in the world by population. And it sits in between China and India. China on top, India on bottom. Um, one moment. It's home to, um, I believe, eight out of the ten largest mountains in the world, including Everest. Um, it is home to about 26 million people and declared a state in 2007, which made it such a hot button topic back then. And it became a republic in May of 2008 with its first elections. Uh, yeah. Two. Um, up until 1990, Nepal was a monarch. E monarchy. <laughs> but with the threat of communism, the leader, King Briendra, I believe is how it's pronounced, agreed to transform the country into a parliamentary monarchy. Basically, people elect representatives, but King still had honcho, he could still fire parliament members that were elected by the people for the people, all that stuff. So, it w wasn't perfect. Am I speeding forward, Parker, and editing? I don't know. No, three. Um, between 1990 and 2007, uh, no form of government had stayed in Nepal for more than um, two years in a row. Um, and it was a very hectic time where the citizens of Nepal were undergoing constant change. I know that sounds like a juxtaposition, but that's how I wrote it. I'm sticking to it. Mm. That's all base. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, number four. Um, you fast forward to 2008, and Nepal basically gets his act together. Um, it gave the king a 15 days notice to vacate his mansion, palace, whatever, um, and it was turned into a public museum. Um, and in 2008, May, of course, um, the first public elections. Okay. First public elections were held in April, um, and the unified and the okay this is going downhill. The unified um, Communist Party of Nepal, in parentheses Maoists, won the congressional majority. Um, but after the 2013 elections, they're now in third place as the party, um, behind the Nepali Congress and Communist Party of Nepali. In parentheses, unified Marxist and Leninist, basically. Marxist and Leninist communist parties came together. Um, and now the current prime minister is um, a member of the Nepali party, the leading party currently in Nepal. Five. Um, the past ten years, Nepal has become one of the few countries in Asia to get rid of the death penalty. And the first country in their entire continent to um, rule in favor of marriage equality. Um, you can also, if you're a Nepali citizen, you can be documented as a third gender person, not necessarily female or male. Okay, time for my sources. Basically, I got all this information off Wikipedia, but I think it's reliable enough for an idiot eating toilet paper on the internet. Um, but if I got anything wrong, I do apologize, and please, if you want, correct me down there. Well, it was fun humiliating myself. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow, Denny. DFTBA, right? Right? Ah... Uh...